Part of the emerging class in our resurgent economy right now is the class of freelancers, people who work in the film industry, in the software development industry, who don't necessarily have a stable job but are paid like talents. We're gonna explore today the question of if I am a freelance talent, can I qualify for a housing loan? And joining us right now, once again, is Ms. Celine Santa Ana of BPI Family Savings Bank. Ms. Celine, yun ang tanong, yes. freelancer, can yes. they qualify for a housing loan? Anybody who is able to show the bank that they can actually pay a right. loan are qualified to get a housing loan. Sometimes yung, oh, yung basic ano pa lang, yung name of employer, <laughs> eh, hindi ko na talaga malagay doon. Yes, because employer. you don't have one. Right. What are the requirements? Okay. One is uh, maybe your six months or one year. Average. Bank statement. Ah, bank statement. Bank statement. If you are earning so much, mm -hmm. definitely you have a place to put in your money right. on a monthly basis. Uh -huh. While we may not be able to validate that you get this regularly, right. we wouldn't have an idea. Kung ano yung pasok uh, ng cash pera flow, sa your ka mo. The cash flow, the stream of income right. that enters your bank account. Oh, so, ang importante is actually put your money in a bank. So, aside from the bank accounts, banks will have to take a look at the way you handle your finances, which means uh, how you pay your credit card. That's why it is very important for people who have credit cards to make sure that they pay their credit cards on time, right? Because the banks want to make sure that you are able to, you know, pay your obligation right. and you know how to spend responsibly. Right. The other thing is for you to be able to give the banks a document which will show proof that you are working with them. Trade references. Okay. If you are supplying certain items to department stores okay. or to some companies right. um, on a regular basis, that is something that you can show the bank. Right. And the, the banks would normally put a certain amount of income um, which they can equate to what you supply them. Aside from trade references, it could be the other way around. You can give banks trade references as to where you purchase certain items. Okay. Wherever you get your supplies on a regular basis, the, the, these are the people that you can refer. Right. So right. we will have to equate whatever you give us into figures, yeah. which will give us some validation to substantiate what you're telling me that you can afford to pay the loan. What if, Ms. Celine, in the past, 10 years ago, mm -hmm. we had a financial difficulty. Right. We were able to pay our loans. You know, people change and time normally heals some financial difficulties. Kasi kung masipag ka naman, you can always, Ay, you know, oh, mababang at babangon ka naman. Uh -huh. If you're a good person, definitely, um, you know, things, good things will come your way. Right, right. And tell us all, right, right, that I had this problem with you before, but you know, this is what happened. As a matter of fact, my business now has improved. Right. Then, fine. Yeah. The banks are open to that. So now, you're wiser, you're better, more mature, and you want to take on another housing loan, and then that's fine. For as long as you're able to, you know, give documents to the bank, right. which we can validate, for me, to make us comfortable that you can really pay the loan, then that's it. Right. And there we have it. Thank you very much, Ms. Celine Santa Ana of BPI Family Savings Bank, telling us all about how freelancers and talents can also qualify for housing loans.